face their national crimes. We know Japan has had a very hard time as well. We know the Turkish and Armenian problem. But, and I think that is a leadership role that Germany can play in terms of a country with, which openly faces its crimes against humanity. Um, and I find it very, you know, I work in, in the field of Holocaust studies and I do find it very heartwarming that there are like 70 Holocaust memorials in this city alone. You know, and I think uh, it, Germany can help, hopefully. I mean, we also had the Truth and Reconciliation Commissions in South Africa. That was another model on how you try and, to do just even to try and face these things, right? And uh, anyway, so there's that word, beastially murdered. Uh -huh. However, we have then some strange language coming up here. We have, never forget, you know, kind of fight against war and protect peace. Now, why on a Holocaust memorial, which technically should be aimed at the, you know, victims and relatives of victims of the Holocaust, are you telling those people to fight against war? It's a bit bizarre. The Jews did not cause this war. <laughs> you know, they were absolutely victims of this war. So it's a bit odd, but that's because this was done in the East German times. And this is kind of 